All right, all right, guys. Welcome back to another video. Guys, I just wanted to come in and show my new waffle maker. I want to start doing my little product reviews. I'm not getting paid from these, but I would like to start showing certain little things that I use inside of the kitchen to make my videos or cook my early, I mean, cook my everyday meals. And I got this waffle maker from Walmart. I paid about 20 bucks for it. And it has this nice non-stick surface right here. And this is the Oyster brand. And it has this nice kind of stainless steel finish to it. And that makes it really, really easy to clean off. And I know because I already put too much mix inside of it and it spilled over on me. But it just wipes right off. And then it has this red light that shows you the power. And that green light comes on once it is up at temperature. And it comes already preset for you. So I didn't move it. it has a minimum max setting. And it came just about on max. And that worked out absolutely perfect for me as I was uh, making my waffles. And you guys saw how that turned out in a previous video. And this box, it just highlights all of the different specs of it and stuff like that. And the one thing that I would say, guys, is this does stay hot for a little while because after I was done making my waffles, I made five waffles. And this thing was still pretty hot. Uh, maybe about 20, 25 minutes later, I went back to clean it, but this was still too hot for me to handle, so... You definitely want to handle it by that little front level. And I just want to show you guys, this is part of the video of me making the waffles. I just sprayed it with a little bacon spray. Got my waffle mix down inside of it. And if anyone is watching this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel, please check the description of this video and you'll see a link um to the waffle chicken and waffle videos that i did and this is how the first waffles i made with it came out you can see i could have put a little bit more of my waffle mix inside of here so that it went directly or all the way to the edges but this came out nice and golden brown perfectly done and this is me making uh, the last batch, which I put a little bit too much in, and you'll see that it kind of ran over to the sides. But like I said, it cleans up really, really easily. And you can see I have a nice full waffle all the way to the edge. And guys, these waffles came out perfect. This was me doing my taste testing in my video. And I have the recipe for this waffle and everything, guys. So if you are new to this channel and just wanted to see a little review of this particular oyster waffle maker, definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel and check out my cooking videos. I think you'll be very pleased. Alrighty, guys. I thank you for watching this little product review. Like I said, I'm not getting any money off of it. I just want to preview some of the stuff that I use in the kitchen or that I use to make my videos. So I will see you guys in another video. Peace.